Seven to eight favourite at the moment. Number one, further flight, and ridden as usual by Michael Hills. Two is Carouge under John Reed at eight to one. And then over from Ireland, number three, Shirley's Delight, partnered by the very talented Richard Hughes, four to one. Capius is number four, Frankie de Tori at five to two, trying to be the third winner for Sheikh Mohammed today and to complete a double for himself and John Gosden. And finally, number five, Tethys. She's uh, partnered by Jimmy Fortune and is the outsider here at 10 to 1. Five runners then for the Group 3 Jockey Club Cup. Five runners for this Jockey Club Cup and away they jump and Carouge is the first to go on in the green and white jacket followed by Tethys in second, sheepskin noseband there and then Frankie de Tori on Capias in those howling colours of Sheikh Mohammed and then the Irish filly Shirley's Delight and last of all Further Flight and Michael Hills bidding to win this Jockey Club Cup for the fourth successive time. Carouge the leader then by a length to Tethys and they've got a handy break on the others five or six lengths to Capias back in third place and then Shirley's Delight and Further Flight and it looks a good even pace over this two mile journey a long way to go as they continue through the first three furlongs or so. Carouge the leader from Tethys second and then back in third is Capias towards the inside of Shirley's Delight and finally weighted with patiently ridden by Michael Hills at the back is the grey further front. So continuing to run towards the right hand turn and that'll be uh, in about another furlong and a half's time and then they'll be faced with about a mile and a quarter straight here on Newmarket Heath and it's Carouge the leader, smart hurdler, if they put a few flights of hurdles in the way today his chance would be increased I reckon, he's out in front still by a length and a half to Tethys in second. Then Capias the inside followed by Shirley's delight and still no move yet from further flight, now they swing right handed, it's their only turn in this two miler and begin to face up to the Heath. Carouge the leader, perhaps just extending the advantage over Tethys and Tethys in that noseband in second. Also in a noseband is Shirley's Delight on the outside there, just behind Capias, who's racing keenly and further flight still last of the five. They race towards the final mile now and the halfway stage and it's Carouge doing the donkey work and lobbing along happily in that lead from Tethys in second. Capias still tucked away out of the breeze under Frankie de Tori from Shirley's Delight and then further flight last of the five. They enter the final seven furlongs now and Carouge by just a half length Tethys beginning to snap at its heels and then Shirley's Delight goes third just towards the outside of Capias and last of the five there still further flight but he's still traveling well the old boy as we head back to the grandstand with Carouge leading here's Rawley. Yes we're there now into the final three quarters of a mile the prices you'll get after this race further flight sent off as the 11 to 8 favorite Capias 11 to 4 Shirley's Delight well supported 7 to 2 Tethys late money 8 to 1 and Carouge the outsider at 9 was made most but has now been headed by Tethys so Tethys produced by Jimmy Fortune to go on but Carouge hanging on well only about a length and a half behind and then uh, Shirley's delight for Ireland getting closer so too Capius for the connections of Cambridgeshire winner Halleck still last is a further flight seeking this unique fourth British pattern race win but uh, he always comes late in the race and here he comes now on the outside already the chairs go up from the crowd you may hear them I certainly can as the runners come now past the bush and here he comes in a matter of strides from last to first further flight with his old friend Michael Hills down the dip they come just over a furlong and a half to run further flight being ridden out but he's gone three or four lengths or more clear of Capius under pressure so too Tethys and then Shirley's delight well beat as is the early leader Carouge it's all further flight now the hats go up in the air here at Newmarket for further flight the favorite who comes home to land his fourth jockey club cup by a very wide margin indeed. Great day for their connection. Simon Whitfield, Digby, then played second place Capius, three tethys, four Shirley's Delight, fifth and last is Corrouge. First number one, Further Flight, the 11 to 8 favourite. Second number four, Capius, 11 to 4. And third number five, Tethys, returned at 8 to 1. The tow paid 2.30 for the win. The place is 1.40 and 2.10. The dual forecast came to £3.10. And the computer straight forecast paid 5.37 and 5.